Alimes was a border defense or delimiting system of ancient Rome. It marked the boundaries of the Roman Empire. The Latin noun limes had a number of different meanings. A path or balk delimiting fields, a boundary line or marker, any road or path, any channel, such as a stream channel, or any distinction or difference. The word limes was utilized by Latin writers to denote a marked or fortified frontier. This sense has been adapted and extended by modern historians concerned with the frontiers of the Roman Empire, e.g., Hadrian's Wall in the north of England is sometimes styled the Limes Britannicus. The frontier of the Roman province of Arabia facing the desert is called the Limes Arabicus, and so forth. This was the traditional definition and usage of the term. It is now more common to accept that limes was not a term used by the Romans for the imperial frontier, fortified or not. This is a modern, anachronistic interpretation. The term became common after the 3rd century AD, when it denoted a military district under the command of a dux limitis. Some experts suggested that the limes may actually have been called Monumentum Traiani, Trajan's Bulwark, referring to a passage by Aminus Marcellinus according to which Emperor Julian had reoccupied this fortification in 360 AD. Some limitis. The limitus represented the borderline of the Roman Empire at its greatest extent in the 2nd century AD. It stretched over 5,000 kilometers from the Atlantic coast of northern Britain, through Europe to the Black Sea, and from there to the Red Sea and across North Africa to the Atlantic coast. The remains of the limitus today consist of vestiges of walls, ditches, forts, fortresses and civilian settlements. Certain elements of the line have been excavated, some reconstructed, and a few destroyed. The two sections of the limes in Germany cover a length of 550 kilometers from the northwest of the country to the Danube in the southeast. The 118 kilometers long Hadrian's Wall was built on the orders of the Emperor Hadrian C. AD 122 at the northernmost limits of the Roman province of Britannia. The Antonine Wall, a 60 kilometers long fortification in Scotland, was started by Emperor Antoninus Pius in AD 142 as a defense against the barbarians of the north. It constitutes the northwesternmost portion of the Roman limes. The most notable examples of Roman limitus are Hadrian's Wall, Limes Britannicus, Antonine Wall in Scotland, Limes Germanicus, the Germanic and Rhetian limes, Limes Arabicus, the frontier of the Roman province of Arabia Petraea facing the desert, Limes Tripolitanus, the frontier in modern Libya facing the Sahara. Limes Alutanus, the eastern border of the Roman province of Dacia. Limes Transalutanus, the frontier in the lower Danube. Limes Mosii, the frontier of the Roman province Moesia, from Singaginum Serbia along the Danube to Moldavia. Limes Norisi, the frontier of the Roman province Noricum, from the river in along the Danube to Canabacar in Austria. Limes Panonicus, the frontier of the Roman province Pannonia along the Danube. Danube from Kloster Newburg, Austria to Taurunum in Serbia. A medieval limes is the limes Saxoniae in Holstein. Etymology and sentiment. The stem of limes, limit, which can be seen in the genitive case, limitis, marks it as the ancestor of an entire group of important words in many languages, for example, English limit. Modern languages have multiplied its abstract formulations. For example, from limit comes the abbreviation lim, used in mathematics to designate the limit of a sequence or a function. See limit. In metaphysics, material objects are limited by matter and therefore are delimited from each other. In ethics, men must know their limitations and are wise if they do. An etymology was given in some detail by Julius Pocorni, endogamanitius etymologistus Waterbuch. According to him, it comes from Indo-European L, li, lay, to bow, to bend, elbow. The Latin meaning was discussed in detail by W. Gebert. 
the sense is that a limit bends across one in some way. The limes was a cross path or a cross wall, which the Romans meant to throw across the path of invaders to hinder them. It is a defensive strategy. The Romans never built limitus where they considered themselves free to attack, as the emperor had ordered the army to stay within the limitus except for punitive expeditions, they were as much a mental barrier as material. The groups of Germanic warriors harrying the limes during summer used the concept to full advantage, knowing that they could concentrate and supply themselves outside the limes without fear of preemptive strikes. In a few cases, they were wrong. The limit concept engendered a sentiment among the soldiers that they were being provoked by the Germanic raiders and were held back from just retaliation by a weak and incompetent administration. They were being sold out, so they mutinied. The best remedy for a mutiny was an expedition across the limes. Toward the later empire, the soldiers assassinated emperors who preferred diplomacy and put their own most popular offices into the vacant office. Roman writers and subsequent authors who depended on them presented the limes as some sort of sacred border beyond which human beings did not transgress. And if they did, it was evident that they had passed the bounds of reason and civilization. To cross the border was the mark of a savage. They wrote of the Aelmanni disrespecting it as though they had passed the final limitation of character and had committed themselves to perdition. The Aelmanni, on the other hand, never regarded the border as legitimate in the first place. The Romans were foreigners changing native place names and intruding on native homes and families, only to be tolerated at all because they were willing to pay cash for the privilege and offered the blandishments of civilized life. According to Pocorni, Latin limin, threshold, is related to limes, being the stone over which one enters or leaves the house, and some have gone so far as to view the frontier as a threshold. The Merriam-Webster dictionaries take this view, as does J. B. Hoffman in Etymologistisches Waterbuch des Griechischen under Lyman. The White Latin Dictionary denies any connection, deriving limon from asterisk ligman, as in Leon from asterisk lig, tie. The threshold ties together the doorway. The American Heritage Dictionary refuses to go further than Latin limes. The limes in fiction. The novel series Romanike is set at the Limes Germanicus in the decades until the first assault of Germanic peoples in 161 AD. 